You know what I like to do? Talk into a microphone? Yeah, and also <laughs> get in on the action with sports Have a interaction. Big head. Yeah, wear bare feet in the freezing cold. <laughs> Be a dad. Freaking wear V-necks that are actually it's not a V-neck. Okay. Sorry. Um, sports interaction, NHL, NBA, MLB, so much more. It's the friend I don't have. Clearly, uh, crazy odds, best live and play. Download the app in Ontario. You can use the QR code at the bottom of the screen, or you can head to sportsinteraction.com/stpn to get started. Nineteen plus. Please, please play responsibly and get better friends. Just yell at the computer. He does that too. Four minutes left to go. Ryan O'Reilly gives away the puck at his own blue line, literally passes it to a Florida Panther, oh, and Joseph Wall stands tall again. Producer Drew was like, what is it about that crest? <laughs> well, you know what? I'm glad, he's, I'm glad you brought that up. Let me ask you this. This is where, okay, we know that, uh, and there was a Cubs pitcher, and he was also a Boston pitcher for a while, that did not throw to first base because he has what's called the yips. Oh. And the yips are a mental block. It was John Lester, I think. John Lester would not throw to first base ever because every time he did, he'd overthrow it. So he got so in his head about it that teams would just say, John, just hold it. We just we just hold it. Don't even worry about it. We'll take the single because we can't have the double with you throwing to first. We'd rather limit oh, so, the damage. So like not on the mound. You're talking about like the ball is in play. No, he can't so, even... so yeah, if John Lester picks the ball up off the ground, he can't pass it. He can't throw it to the first base. That man. bad? It's in the book about the Cubs World Series run. You should read the book. It's amazing. Oh my God. Uh, okay. It's an amazing, amazing book on baseball. I loved it. And I think the same author did the one on the Astros, but then the Astros one is all like tainted because yeah. it was mm. cheating. But, but, but Adam, why would I want to read a book about a team who never wins finally winning? Well, that's why I read it. That's why I read it. And apparently, it's also one of Kyle Dubas' favorite books. So that's specifically why I read it. And so... Good. I, that's great. I began to think. I began to think. I'm like, this team could have the yips. But it could be like a team-wide thing. Is Like, this is how irrational it's become. Like, does this entire... T and then, and then to, to Drew's point, when you put on the Leafs jersey... Do you then also have the yips eventually because it's built into the culture here? It's impossible to know how good or bad the Florida Panthers are. <laughs> like, oh man, they're so good at making I mean, teams good. make they mistakes. Beat the they're team a in good the team. No, I know they're a good team, but oh man, they really force you into making mistakes. They're playing the Leafs. I I don't think Ryan O'Reilly acquired a curse stone when he joined the but Toronto Maple You don't block? know that for sure. Could there be a mental block there for this team? I don't think Ryan O'Reilly has that. I, I hope not. How how would but, he gather that? He And I would let him. He's the one guy on this team I let off the hook for. Yeah. That. I let him off the hook I for that any time. Oh, I don't know. That, that was awful. <laughs> Like it, uh, you fold the franchise if that goal goes in, like through the you did you Sam that. Bennett through the legs to end their season. Oh, could you imagine? The city'd be on fire right now. So thank God it didn't go in. But great yeah, stuff from know. Wall. Wall tracks it the whole time. He wasn't fooled by the move. No. Yeah, um, yeah. it was really good. <laughs> um, Sam Bennett. So it would be to to your point, Adam. Just I'm trying to I'm trying to get to the to the crux of what it could be. You know, if it's the guys who lead the team, so Tavares, Matthews, Marner, mm. if they're nervous, if they're if they have this energy where they don't believe they can get it done because all the weight of the world is on their shoulders, and the history, and the history of this team, and the history of them never getting it done, maybe they carry that energy in the locker room and it spreads to their teammates. And you have instances where you have a veteran in Ryan O'Reilly who's a con Smythe winner who sh seems unflappable making mistakes like this because he's feeding off the energy of the star players on the team. Like that's, that's That seems reasonable. That's it, sort of what I'm saying, Jesse, right? Oh. I want you to take that and put it in a little box and you write Thursday on it, okay? <laughs> yeah. We need to get back to that. Yeah. We 100% or need to get back it. to it. <laughs> or hey. throw it out the window hey. and never speak of it again. You mean next Tuesday? You know what? After game seven. We, you're right. Um, <laughs> you you brought up Sam Bennett and the between the legs goal. Um, almost you know, goal. So, well, the between the legs almost goal. But you gotta give the Leafs credit for making him regret what he did. 
<laughs> Boy, he didn't know a moment's peace last night, did he? We all seem to forget that that was last game where yep. Sam Bennett took out a literal teenager. I had people Almost who were teenager. people. People so 20, were reaching, twenty now. Yeah, people were reaching out to me, and <laughs> I, I, I there'd be no way to verify this, but there were actual people in my DMs. This is how crazy it is to be a Leaf fan sometimes. And they're like, I teach martial arts. That was a martial arts move. Yeah, he, t- oh, he probably slam, takes though. martial arts. And yeah. like, Undertaker looked, looked at that and was like, that's a great move. Yeah, but, 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 but you can't do that, right? And the, and the Leafs <laughs> let him know. <laughs> that's the they let him know. The they push back. Let him know. They, they push, push back, back in the way that we all know they can and do all the time. No one took a run at him. All game. At who? Sam Bennett. Not Who's one. Sam Bennett? <laughs> he plays for the Florida Panthers. Oh, but what's notable about him? Uh, he once choke slammed uh, Matthew Nyes to the ice. What? <laughs> oh, I I better. Well, maybe not. Me, Noel is Noel here? A charge. Luke, Jake, any of the big tough meanies that we got at the deadline? Can I'm certainly not going to do it. Don't don't do that. This please. team. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. That was, that was bad. Now, brand new done that. We're not done recapping this game. <laughs> That just just the um, antithesis of what this city wants in a hockey team. That was uh, cowardly and pathetic. Uh, the Leafs do not look dangerous in the last minute. Hall, Justin Hall is out there to kill the Florida Panthers pressure. And again, I write in my notes, I cannot understand this team's love of this player. He's been terrible all game, all playoffs. They scratched him because he was the least efficient player in the first round. They scratched him in game six for this reason. And you got Keefe after what we just showed you with the, 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 the declare goal when he was out there paired with McCabe on the penalty kill. You got Keefe putting him out there again. And I get showing faith in your guy. I get it. But this ain't the time for faith. This is time for guarantee. And Why are the other guys your guy? Why aren't better players ever the coach's guy? I think because a coach always needs to have like a there's there's I'm, found value there. I'm so fucking smart. They need to have the I'm so fucking smart guy. So and who would have so played, fucking smart? Who would have played on the penalty kill if it wasn't for Justin Hall? Oh, uh, a better player. I, I think they don't Do have think... other defensemen who can play on the penalty kill. No, they don't have six Shel- other defensemen. Sheldon Keith that team. needs Justin Hall to play all of the penalty kill, else the team's gonna fall apart. He played 1925. Yep. Yeah, he played like what other just player, shy of Luke Shen. What other player is so bad they get scratched and then come back and play nineteen minutes, three in the minutes first. shorthanded? Yeah, enough out of you, enough at all. Either. So, so then, um, uh, just mm. <laughs> <laughs> so mm. my third. I've never had to save it. I always make They're notes about each. They're not done. I make You're notes right. about each third I, period. Go, Leafs, go. I make notes after each, every period. And my third period thoughts are Leafs just do not look good. In overtime, Reinhardt ends it about two and a half minutes in. Leafs. Is that all it was? Gave the puck to him. Again, I could check this specific time if you care. No. Um, 302. There you go. They didn't touch him. They didn't touch him. And then, so here's. Here's what it is, guys. Like you saw the expected goals charts probably floating around online. You saw uh, the deserve to win a meter, which the Panthers finally won the deserve to win a meter. The deserve a win to meter is more wrong than it is right. So maybe it's not right. It was their seventh win of the playoffs and the first time out of seven that it had them as the favorite. So, so maybe could it's, it be? maybe it's better for the regular season, and then the I playoffs are different. So, could it be useless? Well, I don't know. The Panthers know. are also designed to be one of those teams that fuck up the meter. Yeah, um, they, yeah, so they the meter doesn't through. work. No. <laughs> if the whole thing is it's supposed to predict who is going to win, and it doesn't do that, then it's broken. I don't analytics see, suck these playoffs. I don't. Well, here's the thing: it's the publicly available analytics yes. are a lot different than what the teams are looking at. Yes. Yeah. So, and, People, and I, I just, I think. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. they're building these models off of information that is inaccurate. Um, Rachel Dory had a great tweet about Mitch Marner's giveaways. Mm. He had zero giveaways through, I think, uh, the whole game. Like, I don't know what the final tally was, but for most of the game, he and, had what? And that's just not true. So if you're basing these things off of these these numbers that you're getting that are inaccurate, then the thing you're producing is inaccurate. 
So I don't tell me the Leafs should win and they should expect to win these games. So we got to trust the process. No. Trust what your eyes are seeing, the results of the game. Is that random couple that makes the MLB schedule every year, is their second job just tracking stats for the NHL? <laughs> they, they uh, are. Well, uh, the giveaway, I, I can not I can't really speak to the actual chart itself, but I'll tell you this. There's a lot of fans who I think are looking for something to hold on to. Well, at least we got this battle. And if the deserve to win a meter gives you <laughs> gives you uh, gives you some peace, that's cool. But it didn't last night. Mitch Marner ended the game with one giveaway, according to NHL stats. Well, that's a bullshit. That's bullshit. That's in total bullshit. Um, the uh, here's the thing: it isn't it isn't that they lost. It it's isn't, a little that they lost. Oh, but it but it isn't really. It's how. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. how. And this is when I bring it back to this is why I started the show with meeting the moment. This was the moment. And and and, and if you played like you did in game one and you lost, oh, I can I can I I'm still gonna eat shit from Panthers fans who hate me right now, and that's fair. But I at least as a fan can go, okay. It's fucking hockey and it's chaotic and it's hard to measure and shit happens. Three games in a row kills me, but it happens. But when you lose like this, when your best players are your worst players, the Leafs' best players last night are their worst players. And, uh, and that's not a slight against David Kampf and Sam Lafferty. Those guys can't be the best players. The, the, the big four were, in a word, invisible. And that is where it becomes unacceptable. Drew? Who who was Colorado's best player in the first round last year? <laughs> exactly. Fucking exactly. What have you done for me lately? Well, because it's... Oh, he had 12 points and 11 points. Gives a fuck! It's not the first round anymore, is it? Yeah. It's the second round. This is why I didn't want to... Rain on the parade when they beat the Lightning, you're a quarter of the way there. If the Leafs pull off a miracle comeback and do something four teams have ever done in the more than 100 year history of the National Hockey League, they'll be halfway there. Gives a fuck what you did in the first round. Who cares? Second round and they're blowing it. I don't care. But maybe their Stanley Cup it was last week. Was eight or nine days ago. Well, yeah. they're sure playing like it. Yeah. And I and I listen, we're saying this all in the context of now. Mm-hmm. And and if the Leafs came back and there's a miracle miracle comeback, I'm sure somebody's gonna grab the video and go, These idiots didn't believe and blah blah blah. I don't uh, care. As opposed to what? Fuck yourself. So <laughs> <laughs> I think I think um I think the fact is the star players were in, invisible tonight or in, last night, and I'm going to tweet out. Uh, Adam, that's not fair. I saw them give it away behind the net and beside the net. And but and this is the thing, right? The like it's 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 sort of like you know people. I think were saying Mitch Marner, wake up, man. Uh-huh. Austin awesome Matthews, wake up. And 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 I saw there there's the JT. the Leaf fans that are sad, and then there's the Leaf fans that are like overly no like militantly happy. <laughs> like you cannot. Be upset with the Leafs ever, otherwise you don't love them. That's gaslighting. It's bullshit. And and they're saying, I can't understand. I, I saw people saying, I can't understand how people are saying Matthews and Marner are having a bad time. They've got 12 and 11 points. Eight of Mitch Marner's points came in the first three games, guys. So that means he's had four and six afterwards. How many goals? I, I don't know why you could be happy with that. How many goals does Mitch Marner, John Tavares, William Nylander, and Austin Matthews have in this series? Zero. And you know, <laughs> that's that's correct. Well done. After last night, though, I'm hesitant to lump Nylander in there because he was taxed with being more effective mm-hmm. in game three. And he was with Kampf and healthy scratch guy. David Kampf was the best player. He was Kampf and Lafferty were good. They were generally a net positive. And where the fuck were Tavares and Yarncroak? Where and by Tavares yeah. and Yarn Croak, I mean Tavares. Yeah, yeah. Like, what the hell are we yelling at? <laughs> Yarn Croak makes two and a half million, million dollars. Like, what yeah. are we? What are we really mad about? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, yeah, Willie did have uh, a decent game, but you go back to like uh, the first two periods two, of bad. of games two. Yep. Where was he? Game one, he was bad. He wasn't there. Yep. 
So I don't, Adam, you always do this thing where you, 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 well, you don't always do. Sometimes you ask us, you'll be like, how do you feel? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for you to get to that. I'm going to know how you feel and then I'm going to read you some quotes and then I want to know how you feel. That's okay. what I'm going to do. So play was, the game, Jesse, go ahead. I was Jesse, waiting for you to get to that moment because uh, you love asking it. It's a very good question and it always sparks interesting answers. And I was thinking about it. And I was like, okay, how do, how do I feel? And after, the, I feel, I was shocked. Oh yeah, me too. I I really did think they were gonna do it. I, I'm genuinely shocked yeah. that we are at this point again, because you look at the players they have and the resume that they've built over the last seven years of being with this franchise. Austin Matthews is a Rocket Richard Trophy winner. He is a Hart Trophy winner. Mitch Marner, if he sticks around here is going to lead the franchise in points for the next 100 years. Ooh, yes, the, no question. The Selkie is a William Nylander is unfazed by anything and shows up in every moment when he's dialed in. Mm -hmm. Things don't face him. So not every John Tavares. Yeah, not every moment. John, he's, a, he's an elite goal scorer, and he turned into that this year. He put up 40 goals. John Tavares is the captain and showed up last round by show by scoring the OT winner to send them into the second round. And they needed a shift where, I mean, the, I still love that goal so much because he had a dog ass dog mm -hmm. shit game mm -hmm. and just decided, you know what, I'm gonna have a Hercules shift, and, and he just and the willed moment that puck into the net. Keith yelling him, "Go forehand, go, go forehand. forehand," and he does it. Oh, my heart. And I'm shocked that three games later, those guys couldn't get it done. That's why. So when like there's a whole bunch of people are writing the postmortems already. They're doing the whole blow it up thing. And it's too early. I, I look at the group of guys and I'm shocked that with everything they've done, we've reached this point where we're doing this again, where we've got to get rid of them. And it's disbelief more than anything. And I don't know how to react to that disbelief. I'm just kind of shocked. And, you know, oh, the Leafs are morons for not having Dubas locked up to there's no fathomable way you bring him back. See, I, I still I'm still on the train that they should bring him back. Well, we'll save that. Um, and I'm shocked that we're having that conversation. Yeah, yeah it should this not guy be, have a job locked. up. I thought we slammed that yeah. book shut. And um, so and, nope. and again, the reason for that is not that they've lost. It's how 